we are asked to rewrite the following expression using the associative property of multiplication. We are given the expression four times the quantity five times six. The associative property of multiplication is the quantity a times b times c equals a times the quantity b times c. The associative property of multiplication involves changing the grouping within a product. Notice in the given product, we have parentheses or grouping symbols around the five times six. Applying the associative property of multiplication, this is equal to the quantity four times five times six. Notice here, we have grouping symbols or parentheses around the product four times five. To verify this property is true, let's simplify both sides following the order of operations. We simplify inside the parentheses first. On the left, five times six is 30. The left side simplifies to four times 30. On the right, we simplify four times five first, which is 20. The right side simplifies to 20 times six. Four times 30 equals 120, and so does 20 times six. Next, we are asked to rewrite the following expression using the commutative property of multiplication. We are given the expression four times five. The commutative property of multiplication is a times b equals b times a. The commutative property of multiplication involves changing the order of a product. Applying the commutative property of multiplication, four times five equals five times four. Notice both products are equal to 20. Next, we are asked to rewrite the following expression using the associative property of addition. We are given the expression four plus the quantity five plus six. The associative property of addition is the quantity a plus b plus c equals a times the quantity b plus c. The associative property of addition involves changing the grouping in a sum. So for the given expression, we have grouping symbols or parentheses around the five plus six. Applying the associative property of addition, this is equal to the quantity four plus five plus six. Notice now the grouping symbols or parentheses are around the sum four plus five. Verifying this is true, we simplify both sides using the order of operations. On the left, we simplify five plus six first, which is 11. The left side simplifies to four plus 11. On the right, we simplify four plus five first, which is nine. The right side simplifies to nine plus six. And notice both sums are equal to 15. And for the last example, we are asked to rewrite the following expression using the commutative property of addition. We are given the expression four plus five. The commutative property of addition is a plus b equals b plus a. The commutative property of addition involves changing the order of a sum. Applying the commutative property of addition, four plus five equals five plus four. Notice both sums are equal to nine. I hope you found this helpful.